All right, this morning's Coffee With is with Ricky Arnold. And the satellite interview is furnished by NASA. We go live. To Russia. Ricky, how's it going? Hi. Welcome back. What's up, man? <laughs> Doing great, but the weather there sounds shocking. <laughs> well, we, you know what? You'll appreciate it. We're going to get a nor'easter. It's going to get rainy and windy, but at least it's not going to be snowing. What's the weather in Russia right now? Give us a report. It was about minus 10 uh, last night Fahrenheit, so it is cold and crisp, and we got a lot of snow on the ground. Wow. So March 21st, right, you are launching off to the International Space Station again. Ah. Absolutely. It will actually be in the middle of the day uh, in Maryland, so folks can tune in to NASA TV. Um, I think it's 1.45, 12.45 Eastern Time, so uh, it'd be great if some friends of mine and family would follow along from uh, NASA TV. We will be doing that. Hey, Ricky, let's talk about this education <laughs> initiative that you're going to be taking part in during your time on the International Space Station, because ultimately you're a teacher. Take it away. Oh, yeah, it's very exciting. In fact, I'm still a Maryland certified teacher. So uh, and I'm very honored to, to still be certified in the state of Maryland to teach to teach students science and math. Um, we want to shine a light on uh, the amazing people in our nations and world's classrooms who spend time with our kids every day and really have committed their lives to making, uh, you know, providing providing for our kids. We want to highlight the uh, International Space Station is a great platform for education. We're going to have some live downlinks, folks in Maryland, including Goddard Space Flight Center and up at Frostburg, and uh, even down at Wallops in Virginia on the Eastern Shore. And we're going to finish the experiments Kristen McAuliffe wanted to accomplish on the Challenger mission. So we've got a lot on our plate. Very excited to go do it. You guys are so great about sharing your journeys on social media. We follow all your tweets and Facebooks and Instagrams. Oh, I appreciate you following along. What are your what 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 what's your Twitter handle? Astro Ricky? Seriously. Yeah, Astro underscore Ricky. Out of sight. Any any spacewalks planned for you? Because you're a veteran spacewalker. Thirteen hours out in the void. Anything up? Yeah. yeah. We have uh, right now. It looks like we shortly after our arrival, Drew Foistel and I will be going out on the 29th of uh, March if the plan holds, and uh, probably a couple more at some point scattered throughout the mission. So, very excited to go have that experience again. Well, as you pass over at 16,500 miles an hour, be sure and give us a wave. <laughs> I will. Yeah, I, I, my last mission, it was really cloudy in Maryland a lot, and the clear days we flew over were at night so I'm hoping to get some great pictures of uh, my home state and all the people down there that I know and, and love and care about and get some great pictures although I won't be able to pick out faces but you'll be in there <laughs> hey Ricky it's great it's great talking to you again you you make us proud you Terry Reed heck everybody it's it's just really a thrill Huns in space as we call it here on <laughs> TV have the best mission a safe mission and have the time of your life man <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk to you when you come back. Oh, thank you so much. My grandmother would love to have heard that. God bless you, man. We'll talk to you. Thank you. Look forward to catching up again when I get back. All right. Bye -bye. Cool. Very cool. Excellent indeed. So exciting. Yeah, it is. I know. I don't know what's more exciting that Ricky's going back to the International Space Station. We actually pulled that off. <laughs> I did an interview with Russia. Yeah, I know. Timing was perfect. Everything was good. Oh.